Hi there and welcome to this lesson on gas partial pressures. In our last lesson we had a look at functional groups and we looked at how they're present in molecules and the tests we can use for them. So for example we looked at Tollens tests, failings and acidified potassium dichromate. In this session we're going to start to explore partial pressure. What is partial pressure? Well here you can see I've got three gases. I have gas A, gas B, and gas C. And you can see at the bottom that therefore I've got gas A plus gas B plus gas C. Now partial pressure is the contribution to pressure that a single gas makes to the total pressure of a mixture of gases. So what contribution does this pink gas A make in terms of overall pressure compared to, or when it's in, this full mixture. And for each of those, I'm going to refer to it as PB, so my partial pressure of gas A, my partial pressure of gas B, and my partial pressure of gas C. If we add those together, so PA plus PB plus PC, those partial pressures, we get total. So P total. How do we work out those partial pressures then? Where do my values for PA, PB and PC that I have up here, where do they come from? Well, we use the equation, so partial pressure or P, for example, of gas A, that is equal to the mole fraction of A, now I'll show you what that is in a minute, times total pressure. What's the mole fraction? So in order to get this function here, we have to do a calculation first. So the mole fraction of A is the number of moles of A in a mixture divided by total number of moles in the mixture. So first of all, you need to make sure you've got mole fraction and then you can take that function and put it in to this equation here and you can work out the partial pressure. The sum of the partial pressures should all add up to the total pressure of the system. Here's a practice question. Give it a go or wait for me to do the worked example. So here we can work out our partial pressure of ammonia. So partial pressure of ammonia is going to be so 0 0.60 times 160 so that is 96 kilo pascals and I can also work out my mole fraction of hydrogen plus nitrogen that must be one minus my mole fraction of the ammonia. So one minus 0 0.60. So that is 0 0.40. So in the mixture, I've got 0 0.60 on the right-hand side and 0 0.40 on the left-hand side. So the ratio, we've been told that my ratio of nitrogen to hydrogen is one to three. I was given that in the question. Therefore, the mole fraction of nitrogen must be 0 0.1 because out of four parts, I've got 0 0.4 available and I've got four parts of that or three parts of that is hydrogen and one part is nitrogen. Therefore, the hydrogen must be 0 0.30 and the leftover must be 0 0.10 or 0 0.1. And the mole fraction, yes, of hydrogen is therefore 0 0.3. So finally, the last step is to work out the partial pressure of N2 is going to be that mole fraction that I've just worked out times my total pressure, 160. 
so that is 16 kilopascals. And then the same calculation for my hydrogen, but I've got 0 0.3 as my partial pressure of hydrogen. Again, times the total is 48 kilopascals. And each of those would be a mark. And from my previous section, I would have gotten a mark for the calculations probably to work out my molar fractions.